I'm Lynn Bowen. Here are some of the stories WJZ is working on today. More cases involving Baltimore City's disgraced gun task force are under investigation by the state's attorney's office. Initially, more than 280 cases were under review, but now prosecutors are expanding that to thousands. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren has the growing impact on the eight federally indicted officers charged with robbing and threatening people while on duty. The trial for Michael Johnson continues today. He is being tried for a third time in the murder of 16-year-old Felicia Barnes. The North Carolina girl was visiting her half-sister in Baltimore when she vanished and later was found dead in the Susquehanna River. Kimberly Eaton will bring us the latest from the courtroom today. A demonstration that captured the attention of the country over the weekend. But what's next for the March for Our Lives movement? Rick Ritter speaks with one of the local student organizers here in Baltimore. Now let's get a check on the weather with Meg McNamara. Meg. Hi, Lynn. Well, we are looking at a nice warm-up later on this week. Today, we're going to top out at 50, but that's accompanied by lots of sunshine. We also, though, have breezy conditions across the state. Tonight, it is going to be cold. We're going to be back down into the upper 20s, partly cloudy skies. Here's a look at the five days. So by tomorrow, 49 or 50 once again, but we jump up to 60 by Thursday, by Wednesday, upper 60s, Thursday, Friday. So we are headed in the right direction. Rain is likely, though, at the end of the work week. Lynn? WJZ will have much more on these stories coming up later today at 4, 5, and 6.